Okay, let's do this thing. I've got my friend, my checklist, I've laid out my tarp, I've got my tools. It's time to inspect the septic tank. I'm going to use my trowel in my hands to clear away any dirt or debris from, uh, from the lid, keep it from falling into the tank. If you don't have risers, you'll need to do a little digging to get to the lid. And on some concrete or steel septic tanks, the lid's heavy, so ask your friend to help. I'm using my cordless drill to remove the access riser lid fasteners. The tank lid may be very heavy and may need prying. We're going to remove the lids over each inlet and outlet baffle. Remember, be careful of your back when prying and lifting. Okay, now that the lids are off, you'll want to just observe for a moment to make sure there are no obvious problems. Make sure the risers are solid, dry, and watertight. Test the water tightness of your risers by running a hose on the outside. If water leaks into the tank, call a professional. It might smell a little bit musty, but it shouldn't be overwhelming. A tank with strong foul odors could be a sign of a problem. Okay, it's not roses, but it's not too bad. Now, take a look at the scum layer floating near the top of the tank. If the scum layer is close to touching the lid, you know right away your tank needs to be pumped and your system checked by a professional. The scum layer in the septic system should resemble rich soil with bugs, worms, and bacteria that naturally digest and treat the sewage. If your tank is filled with life, that's a good sign. On the other hand, if your tank looks dead or stagnant, you might have a problem. Too many chemicals can kill the life in your tank, and if the natural digestion processes can't happen, your system may fail. Okay, so far so good. Look for the baffles which are attached to the inlet and outlet pipes on your tank. If the baffles are buried in scum, your tank is too full and needs to be pumped by a professional. This tank has plastic baffle pipes, but some have U-shaped concrete baffles. These can sometimes corrode and fall off. Check to make sure the inlet and outlet baffles are not clogged, and the seal where the pipe connects to the tank is not leaking. Check for toilet paper or feces staining the top of the lids or baffles. This is a sign that your tank has been too full in the past. If so, contact a professional. Look at the outlet pipe. The liquid level in the tank should be at the base of the pipe, not above or below. If it's below, the tank may be leaking, and if it's above, the pipe may be blocked. In either case, call a professional. Finally, look in the clean out or the inlet baffle to see if any liquid is trickling through when you're not using any water. That could be a sign of a leaky fixture in the house. To determine if your tank needs pumping, you need to know how much sludge and scum are in the tank. Let's start by measuring the scum layer. The first thing I'm going to do is use my scum stick to make an 8 to 10 inch hole in the scum. Now I hold the L-shaped foot flat on the top of the scum layer and use my pencil to mark on the stick right at the top of the riser or at the lid if you don't have risers installed. Next I put the scum stick through the hole and just pull the stick up flat to the bottom of the scum layer. Make another pencil mark on the stick even with the top of the lid. Got it. Now let's pull the stick out, lay it on the tarp and measure between the two pencil marks. I've got about eight inches of scum. There's a space in your checklist to write down the depth of the scum layer. You'll need that number for the inspection report. If you have a scum layer greater than six inches deep, you need to call a professional to pump your tank. Okay, time for the sludge stick. Just make sure it's threaded together and we're ready to go. I carefully lower the sludge stick down into the bottom of the tank, making sure I don't stain the Velcro tape with scum. Okay, it's down to the bottom of the tank. Now, I just leave it here for about three minutes so the sludge can stain the Velcro tape. Okay, that should be about three minutes. Now, carefully remove the sludge stick, again, being careful not to get scum on the Velcro tape. You can see the sludge has stained the Velcro. If your sludge layer is greater than 12 inches deep, you need to call a pro to pump your tank. And write the length on your checklist on the space provided. I've got about 14 inches of sludge. Okay, let's add the depth of the scum layer to the depth of the sludge layer and write the totals on your checklist. Make sure you measure the scum and sludge on both inlet and outlet sides of the tank. If either side adds up to more than 18 inches, it's time to get the tank pumped out. My scum layer is 8 inches. My sludge layer is 14 inches. That's 22 inches. It's definitely time to get the tank professionally pumped. 
You don't want the tank pumped if levels are okay. It disturbs the living environment in the tank.